The topic we're going to cover about ratio is difference and change or constant difference. Under what situation is a ratio a problem? Will there be a difference and change or having a constant difference? It is when there is an equal amount of items being added or taken away from both groups in the ratio given. Let me give you an example with two bags of eggs, bags A and B. There are seven eggs in bag A, five eggs in bag B. So, there are two more eggs in bag A. Now, I'm going to remove two eggs from each bag by crossing them out. What do you notice about the difference? So now, in bag A, there are five eggs. And in bag B, there are three. You will notice that the, dif the difference is still two more in bag A. Similarly, when an equal amount of eggs are added into each bag, you will also notice that the difference remains unchanged. For example, I'm going to add three eggs into each bag now. So the total eggs in bag A would be 10 eggs. And the total, bag in, uh, total eggs in bag B would be 8 eggs. And what do you notice? There are still two more eggs in bag A. So how are we going to use this concept to solve ratio word problems? Let's try one now. At first, the ratio of Sarah's savings to May's saving was 9 is to 7. So by looking at the ratio, we know that Sarah has a bit more money than May, which to be exact is 2 units more. After each of them donated 680 to charity. Now this is the key phrase that somehow hinted us hinted to us that we are going to use the difference and change uh, concept to solve the question. Why? Because if each of them were to donate an equal amount of money, that means that Sarah would still have two units more money than May, provided that it's still the same. Um, the old ratio. But now, after donating, the ratio of Sarah's savings to May's saving became 5 is to 2. What was Sarah saving at first? So I'm going to write down some notes. Sarah to May is 9 is to 7. And then after, Sarah to May became 5 is to 2. Okay, so I am going to apply the difference inside because I know that even after donating the equal amount of money, Sarah will still have that same amount of money more than May. So from the before ratio, I know that it is 2 units. 9 minus 7 gives me 2 units. But in the ratio that's after, 5 minus 2 gives me 3 units. So 2 and 3. By right, it should have the same units. So now our job is to change both ratio into a common multiple so we can work it out. So the common multiple that I'm going to choose is 6. Which means the ratio on my right hand side, I have to multiply everything by 3, making it equivalent. And the ratio that I'm going to multiply um, by 2 to make it 6. So 3 times 2, 6. 2 times 2, 4. And 5 times 2, 10. The other ratio, 2 times 3, 6. 7 times 3, 21. And 9 times 3, 27. Okay, now I have my two new sets of ratio. That's before and after. This is before and this is after donating. So, what do you observe? If I were to take 27 minus 10, I get 17. That means 17 units donated to charity. If I use May's 21 minus 4, I also get 17. So you should get this same unit, which is referring to the equal amount donated to charity, which is $680.
So now I can finally say 17, 17 units is equal to $680. And what does the question want? They want Sarah's savings at first. So Sarah's saving at first, I should always refer to the new ratio, is 27 units. So before I find 27 units, I will find one unit first, which is 680 divided by 17, and I'll get 40. Now the final step is finding 27 units. It's 40 times 27, and I will get $1,080. And that's my answer.